Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Yu Gi Oh! Tamlo here, and today I'm bringing you the most overpowered deck you will ever see. And that is no joke. Uh, as you can see, it does use some banned cards, but it was mainly built as an anime deck. Say, if I was in the anime, this is the type of deck I would have. And you will see why in a second. I'll even throw a little uh, dual video into it. But first, let's just get right into the deck. We have a Obelisk, the Tormentor. Uh, the Wing, Dragon of Ra. Slifer, the Sky Dragon. Two, Wind Dragon, Sphere Mode. Odai's Pendulum Dragon. Uh, Asher, Graph Sorcerer. Three, Black Fang Magicians. Two, White Wing Magician. Two, Wisdom Eye. Three, Iris. And three, Violet. One, Dandelion. Again, that was just more... Just for a bit of shits and giggles, really. Let's be serious. Um, then we've got two card of souls, which is a pretty decent card because no matter what, I don't think I think it's broken on YGO. But no matter what, you can it lets you add obelisk tormentor to your hand. So it's a quick search for you, basically obelisk. Which I'm not sure how it works, but uh, then we got two double summons just to help really help with summoning and stuff like that. You can't always get all some offering out on the field. Uh, we have a pendulum call again, just to search really. Three pot of greed. Two Monster Reborn, uh, two Pendulum Graph of Ages, a uh, two Iris, just one Space Time. So you really need really. Okay, now you just got like your trap monsters, just to, again just to help you summon your gods out. So we have two Strongo with a Moving Fortress, two Embodiment of Apophis, two Zoom of the Spirit, and Ultimate Offering. So as you can see, that is just the main deck to you. That probably seems like a cluster full of bleeps. But yeah, as you can see, this may look stupid, I don't know what you said, but the concept of the deck works better than you'd think. And yeah, we'll just go into the extra deck quickly, which we have just a 1, number 101, 2, Star Time, uh, Dark Rebellion, Nightmoon Paladin, and Zark, obviously. It's basically like a all-god deck from, obviously, from the first gen to the latest gen, just without the Sacred Beast, because... I don't like them, to be fair, and Earthbounds aren't really technically gods, they're immortals. But, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the dual video. Alright guys, as you can see, we're in a dual video. I am playing against the AI, if you was wondering. Just because it's easy, I can choose the certain decks that I want to play against. And I chose my Supreme Pendulum deck that, obviously, you've seen on my channel the other day, or the other week, should I say. And yeah, let's get right into this duel. So as you can see, this is not the greatest hand to have. I'm not going to lie. But he's going to play Terraform and obviously search out Iris. Which doesn't really help, to be fair. Obviously, Iris, and for some reason, is playing White Wing and then destroying it. To get Odai's fusion. That seems a bit of a weird move to make. But obviously, this is the AI for you. Not exactly the best, are they? But, again, it's just an easy way of me showing you how the deck can work. So, as you can see, i got Violet Poison, from lucky enough from the draw. So, I'm going to activate the card of Soul, which, as you can see, allows me to confirm, you have to confirm all 39 cards. Which then you just, for some reason, click Yes, I don't know what it means, and it lets you add this to your hand. No idea how it works, but, voila. One way of getting a free obelisk. But yeah, let's get right into this. We're going to play my Iris Magician. Along with Violet Poison to set the pen scale. Then I was finished going to set down the Moving Fortress. Activate Stronghold. Or Sky Iris, sorry. Use it to destroy Iris Magician. Which allows me to get all Iris Pendulum Dragon. Which also allows me to get my Pendulum Graph of Ages. Because obviously that's the best way to do it. Because you can use all eyes. You can still get your pen scale back. Within the turn, obviously. So yeah, let's set activate my pendulum graph of ages along with odd eyes. Set this ultimate offering face down and end. And obviously, during the end phase, you get your odd eyes magician's effect off. And I'm going to use it to get wisdom eye because obviously it means more cards in the graveyard and it gives me a better search. To be fair, than just choosing the cards. Plus, it finished the deck out a bit, as you can tell. Who's going to play Julius Advent, which obviously I'm not going to bother chaining to. 
But as you'll see, Arbalist will come out next turn very easily with this deck. I know it's a pen deck, so things like that do make it easier, but... Again, that's not... I don't really see why that's a problem, but... It's, this is obviously pre reigns era. Because you don't really know how I'm going to incorporate Link Summon into this yet. But well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to Lay. I know this is going to be a bit of a longer video, guys, as well, than you probably really want, but... I'm just trying to obviously show the deck off along with the actual deck profile first. And I still don't understand what this guy's doing, but he's apparently going to start time obviously, which is a good move. But he's used two Y wings for whatever reason. Now he's just gonna attack me directly. I'm just gonna let him hit me. You know I've got a monster with that two pound defense, but take the hit, eh? So obviously now he's gonna Use the effect to send wisdom out to the graveyard for some reason. Pretty lucky draw as well, getting black fang. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my wisdom eye. Use the effect, which obviously allows me to put. I just get another ibis up there, shall we? Which obviously now my pendulum got a rage gold dock as a magician card was sent. I'm just going to activate my stronghold. And ultimate offing at the same time, just to get one, two, three. Just because I think it's pretty cool to be fair. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's just get myself set up. Obviously now I can just add white wing to my hand. So obviously now with ultimate offering and white wing, I can normal summon. And obviously go into the special summon, get enlightenment paladin out. Might seem like a stupid move, but as you will see why, it's a pretty clever one as well. Because now I can search one spell card out of my grave, which gives me card of soul back, which again is pretty useless. I don't know why I'm bothering, but free card, eh? So I'm just going to activate it again. I'm not sure if it'll actually do anything, we'll find out in a moment. No. Well, see, that's why it's really useless getting it. Uh, but yeah, let's go into special summon mode. And let's summon a bunch of Ella monsters. I don't know why I didn't. I could have done it an easier way, but. As you can see, this is probably the most convenient method of actually doing this than most way people do. So, what we're going to do is let's uh, go into the special summon. Go into Star Time using the Black Fang and Wisdom Eye. This is where Black Fang saying in my hand would have came in handy, but yeah, well, we will live. They're uh, gonna use it to get. What do I want? Violet poison. I know technically I should have gone autograph, but I felt like that way would have been easier. And you know, let's just uh, use the effect of my ultimate offering. Which allows me to summon obviously violet poison. And then go into another star time. Activate the effect. Send with Y Wing. No, we don't need to use that yet. Get to autograph to hand. I would say I'm not gonna be able to zap this turn because Irish Magician's there. So unfortunately that won't you won't be seeing that today. Well, you might see it in a minute, but who knows. No, we don't need to use the effect. Use it to summon obelisk, so send in the two star times along with odd eyes. Obviously if anyone's familiar with odd eyes, uh, the effect, trip it two monsters and then just basically fuck him over. Let's see actually if I use the effect what happens. So I'm gonna tribute oh wait no I'm tributing myself. Oh that didn't go to plan, did it? So that's how you fuck up guys, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. So I'm just gonna end the turn because obviously nothing I can do. Till the next turn. Which makes this video really long and makes my deck look stupid now. Uh, well, we'll be fine. 
So yeah, we're just, we're just kind of summoning into the wisdom right wing and into Astro Astro Graph. Know why I couldn't pronounce that for a second then, but I see now he's going to use all that as effect to get wisdom eye, which is pretty risky move to do, but fair dues to him. So now I get a double summon again, which is pretty useless, but destroys out that, which allows me to use my autograph effect. Which allows me a special summon, which means I can search one card from my deck. So I'm going to use the white wing to add white wing to my hand. Because now it's time to pendulum summon. Now as you can see, Zark is pretty easy to summon from here on out. So I'm just going to special summon. White, my White Wing and Irish Magician and other eyes. I know I don't really need to do it this way, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a bit more quicker. Just by summoning the Dark Rebellion Dragon. So obviously I can just summon Dark Rebellion, lower his monster's attack, and obviously he gets these two into the graveyard. Then obviously use the Astral Grass effect. Sending obviously all the selected cards that are needed. Well, by banishing him, should I say. Summon out Zark. Which should blow up his entire monster field. Or fields, I can't remember. Yeah. And that's pretty much game, guys. So let's just attack for game. Zark. Oh, that is Spiral the Dragon. And obviously then Dark Rebellion for the game. So yeah guys. Uh, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I do apologise for it being a bit long. And probably got very boring towards the end. But I do apologise for that. But again, I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.